Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records. And the last night, I finally, after all these years, saw Richie Fure live in St. Charles, Missouri, as part of a Legends of Country Rock uh, concert with Firefall, Atlanta Rhythm Section, and Pure Prairie League. You know, I got there thinking that Richie would probably play, you know, at least second or third in the lineup. And I was standing in line to get a t-shirt and all of a sudden I heard Richie start and I ran out and got out of the line, which was a ridiculously long and inefficient line. Um, I'm a huge Richie fan. Um, I love Buffalo Springfield when I was in high school. I got into those guys. I then later on got into Poco and, and all that stuff. And I do kind of prefer the the Richie years, even though there's a place in my heart for the Rusty and Paul Cotton stuff as well. Richie was great. He was on acoustic guitar. There was no drummer. It was just him and another acoustic guitar player. His daughter, Jesse Lynch, on backing vocals and tambourine. And it was as stripped down as you can be. You know, the show started at 7. And they played till about 7.45 opened up with the classic On My Way Home, uh, you know, from Buffalo Springfield, Neil Young written song, and then Picking Up the Pieces was next off the debut album from Poco, or was it the second album? Anyway, one of my favorite Poco songs. They then went into Good Feeling to Know, you know, and again, there's no drummer, there's no bass player, so Richie's really just hammering out the time. He's working with his other guitar player. I don't know that guy's name. Um, I don't know his name, but he was good. Wasn't over the top. Uh, again, Richie's 80 years old. Richie's got his daughter doing beautiful, you know, vocals and helping with that three-part harmony. You know, what's great about blues, what's great about Poco and Buffalo Springfield is those harmonies. And these three folks were doing it right. They then played the Buffalo Springfield song, A Child's Claim to Fame. And... And Richie told a story about this song. So back in 2011, you may remember that Stephen Stills, Neil Young, Richie, along with a drummer, I think it was Neil Young's drummer and bass player, rebooted Buffalo Springfield for Bonnaroo 2011. They also did, I think, three shows in the Bay Area and three shows at the Santa Barbara Bowl. They may have done three other shows. There was rumors of a big tour, but he told this story. So they were at the Santa Barbara Bowl and they play A Child's Claim to Fame, which is a song about relationships, a song about, you know, why do we keep lying to each other? You know, we keep, um... and Neil Young after the song said, did you write that song about me? And Richie's like, yeah, I did. And you know, if you listen to the lyrics, it's not the most, um, you know, it's a little bit of a passive aggression that Richie probably had with Neil. Neil was kind of coming in and out of the band. Uh, he wasn't as reliable. He wanted to do his own thing. He was already working on a new solo, uh, his first solo album. And Richie didn't feel loved, I guess, and wrote that song, uh, Child's Claim to Fame from Buffalo Springfield about Neil Young. And Neil Young at that moment realized that it was about him. And again, it's about him being a little selfish probably, or certainly Richie feeling like he's not completely in and he's just waiting for the next lullaby and that will, that will pacify the fact that we'll never have to deal with a relationship type of thing, if that makes sense. The next song was... Don't Tell Me, which is a, a Leanne Womack song that his daughter sang lead on. Beautiful voice, beautiful woman. Uh, Jesse Lynch sang nice there. Wake Up My Soul was next. I didn't, I was not familiar with that. I'm assuming it's something. You know, Richie left the industry or certainly pulled away. After he left Poco, he did a, uh, two albums with Chris Hillman and J.D. Souther. Um, and then really kind of found God, became a pastor. I think he's a pastor in Boulder, Colorado for years. I don't know if he still is. Wake Up My Soul seemed to be kind of along those lines, uh, religious. Then he dedicated the next song, one of my favorite songs, the first song I learned on guitar when I was um, 
35 um, kind woman dedicated to his 57 year marriage to Nancy who really you know one of the reasons he left Poco is because his marriage is breaking up they were separated they weren't even living together he knew that the road was going to ruin um and one of the reasons he left Hillman Hillman Fury and Souther uh Souther Hillman and Fury Souther Hillman and Fury is because of that relationship it was tearing apart he dedicated kind woman to his wife it's such a touching song and it was beautiful then he played a song called someday that i wasn't familiar with and closed with a song about america called america um richie was great again seeing him with no drums you're really seeing it naked you're really just hearing this sweet voice that he's always had and i think a life of relatively clean living uh has, has preserved that voice very nicely and, uh, you know, I was kind of disappointed at first that there was no drums. I wanted to feel the more authentic. I wanted to feel it something closer to the record. But then I realized a couple songs in, I'm getting it even better. I'm just seeing the naked essence of what he can do as a musician. I'm seeing him struggle. Because if you've ever done a gig without a drummer, keeping time is, it is an issue. And, you know, you have to keep that time. Somebody has to. Richie was that beat. You know, and it was it was a special night. Check out my channel. We try to do shows every day. Peace out. See ya.